Is this thing on? Hello there everybody and welcome along to another Avant 3 here on the FTUG server with me, Technojock, where I'm taking a moment to talk about something very serious. Uh, one of our friends on the server, Renovate, a couple weeks back posted a video discussing why he hasn't been around for a while. Um, if you haven't been paying attention, Renovate hasn't been on the server now for about two months. And um, hopefully you'll have seen his video. If you haven't, then please do check out his channel. It's in the description below. Um, and you can see what he was discussing. Now, the reason he's not been on is because he's been dealing with an anxiety disorder. And he's really just not been feeling comfortable about coming on. The pressures of recording on the server and coming out with good content and that sort of thing. So... I wanted to take a moment to uh, to kind of address that as well, um, and I'm over at his base at the moment. Now, bearing in mind Renovate was only on the server really for a couple of weeks, this is phenomenal work. I mean, look at this thing. A, it's huge, and B, it looks awesome. Really, the attention to this, you know, the, the plants f f draping down there, and the windows, all looking really good. So he did some excellent, excellent work whilst he was here in such a very short space of time. Now, if we come on over here, we can see a building on this overlook that's been put up here out of the way, so it's not going to get in the way of anything that Renovate wants to do. But Thorgal, Grok, and Toddy the Body came over here and set this up. Because Renovate's not felt comfortable coming on and uh, you know, doing all the things that you've got to do and prepping and all the rest of it to to come up with videos, they have put this up here. They can't give them creative mode, but they've done the next best thing. So up here, we've got void ore miners, we've got the nanobots, we've got the void resource miner, all that sort of stuff all set up here. So he's going to have flight and regeneration and stuff from the nanobots. He's going to have all the blocks from, from these resource miner things. All that sort of stuff. Um, so that should keep him covered as far as that goes. He just needs to replace the block there so it's tied to him. And this thing will give him you know, all the buffs, really. So um, down over here, there's a little garden sort of area set out with uh, some of the the trees and stuff. So you'd have wood of all the different kinds that he would want. Um, some sugarcane, nether wart and things for anything that he's really wanting to do so that will get him sorted out there um, and if you come inside we've got you know, uber armor tools dragon egg so you can make group, uh, so you can make uh, grid power, a bunch of machines that are all hooked up and look at all those Blocks. Just a bunch of different stuff that's all set up in these storage drawers, and that's all cool. Now, what I have done is, one thing that they didn't do was they didn't put the dyes down. And of course, I've just spent quite a considerable length of time getting dyes sorted out, so why not get that done? Now, I don't want to break anything that they've already done, so I'm going to be very careful, but there's a bit down there that we can probably break into, so we can put the drawers up here. Here's probably a good spot, and um, yeah, yeah, I think that's good there. So if we kind of put a hole down there, mm -hmm, that should be okay. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. And we'll put the drawers there, so we've got those ones. That'll look nice with the white here and the blue. And we'll just lock these up. That's all good, and we'll pop downstairs. And I'll need a drawer controller. That's what I need. <laughs> drawer controller. Do I have all the bits? Yes, I do. Excellent. Right. Let's toddle down here, and I want to avoid accidentally hooking onto this thing. So that goes there, and we can put the dimensional transceivers mm. no, let's shift this let's shift it over one and I think that was a sneaky torch I just dug up yep, looks like it Um. so yeah, we'll shift it over one we'll put that quartz back there we'll need to make sure that um, upstairs isn't dark now because that 
Um, but we can put the dimension. I'll try and see where it's on the ground. We will set this one to... Where is it? Dies one. Receive. Thank you. And there we go. It's filling up nicely. We'll make sure it's set to just single... Buffering single things there as well. And dies two on this side. Cool. Um, yeah, and that one's receiving as well. Cool. Nice one. Hmm. No, it's not got the power, but uh, yeah, it doesn't need power. I wondered. Didn't think. I thought it might have needed power to work, but apparently not. Right, that's the set to that. And do insert. Right, we'll need to take one of each. We'll take some. Actually, will I take it from there? Uh, oh, yeah, we'll just. Right. Why is, why is that taking the brown? Hmm, that's not right. Where's the orange gone? It's not in there, and... Hmm, there's green in there and in there. That's not right. Why is it doing that? And it is set correctly to dies 1 there, and that's die. There's something a little bit weird going on. Right then, that's fixed it. Uh, Cocoa beans are going in, that's all fine. Those ones are all going in, that's all fine. The problem was the send filters. Send filters have got space for 10 items in there, um, and that was all set on one of them. Uh, but the thing is that the receive buffers only got space for 8 items. So I'd set one like this with all, all 10 slots filled, and then the other one, I'd done the remaining 6 dies, um, and it was it was happily sending them over, but the uh, yeah it was it was all messed up. So that's it fixed. So I'll go and just check and make sure everything's come through okay. Yeah, those are coming through nearly done. Cocoa beans is already full up. That's coming through fine. Um, bull meal's full. Bird dice full. The other ones are just about there, coming up nicely. And those appear to be working. And those appear to be working. And um, I'm just going to get rid of the stuff that came through when I took the filters out. And that will be that, that anymore. And um, we had a, yeah, that's okay. There's no spawnable areas there. That should be fine. Well then, that's that. So, renovate. There we go. Renovate if you're watching. Uh, I hope you are. And I hope you are doing well. And uh, this is a little token from me, um, and it's here if you want to use it, mate. Um, I hope things are going better for you. Well, today is going to be a day of helping out other people on the server. I'm just trying to pick out a spot at the moment to do some chisels and bits and where I can sort of lay things out. And this grid works quite well, but it's difficult to see where one block ends and another one begins. The reason being, Relic has asked for um, a, a copy of himself. Kind of like what we did with Grok's one we've got there. Um, so we want to make a, a, um, a copy of Relic's skin. So I've got a bunch of the blocks here. And I'm just going to lay things out because if we set these down, we'll not need an awful lot of bits, so probably one block of each will do. So these are the colours that I've picked out. I got Relic to send me a picture of his skin, so we can... Uh, I've sort of colour matched. Because what's the point in all these dyes if we're not going to dye things, eh? So, um, yeah, things are looking pretty good, and these are, I think... Oh, pretty close to all the colours that we need. I'm just going to lay them out and then we're going to chop them up into bits. Um, and if I set this, this is on drawn region. Drawn region? Yep. There we go. And we'll just go and set it up to there. No? No, you didn't do, did you? Okay, let's try that again. Let's just do half of it at once. There we go. And then the other bit. And we'll do this one. Nope. It's just not playing ball, is it? There we go. And we'll just hoover up those last little bits. So I think that 
sounds pretty good. So where do we actually? Oh, I'm going to put these things away out of the road now that I don't need these. Um, and we'll keep hold of them. They're pretty handy to have. Um, and let's rearrange things so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Um, we're not going to have room for all of them on our person at any time, one time, but that's fine. So where am I going to do this? I think down here. I want to be out of the way just in case anybody comes around to visit. Um, and I think down here is a good spot. But um, I want to kind of have it a little bit closer. So if I grab a block of quartz to kind of use as a, a plinth to work on. That way I can see the edges and where I'm placing things. I do kind of like the, the grid pattern from the floor. That does make it an awful lot easier, having a grid pattern. So maybe if I get rid of this, and I actually just get oh, going on the floor, is it? Hmm. Or, <laughs> or I make the plinth uh, one of the blocks. Crazy notion. All right, we're going to work here. Yeah, why not? Cool. That's better. Yeah, now I can start working on it a little bit easier. So I want to start putting down uh, this. So this will be his feet. Yeah, don't climb up on the block. So we can just kind of do... That's going to be the kind of middle, and then that's how wide it is. Feet are four blocks wide. I'm going to take that off because that's just going to annoy me. So your feet front to back are four wide, and then we're going to come out go like that, and then so where's the center? So there, to there, and then there, and then we can fill in this bit like so. Cool. Right. That is the soles of his shoes. Next up lighter brown colour. None of these ever say brown, they only ever say orange, like dark orange and something. I'm sure somebody that's a artist or something could explain why nothing is ever brown, it is only dark orange. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Now, I have um, the picture that Re uh, Relic sent me open on my other screen, so um, I'm referring to that. That's why I'm looking a little bit peculiar. Uh, just sort of pausing and standing back, because I am pausing and standing back. That is not the right block. That's the one I want. Let's put it over there. I can't see because of the uh, tooltip. Okay, so the dark blue of denim. And there we go, like that, and then I need to, yeah, I think that looks good, I need to bring that up, so connected plane is going to be our friend here, so we can just build it up one layer at a time, I'm not altogether sure how high up that needs to go, so it would be sensible if I got one I made earlier, and have it sat next to it, there we go, and now I can tell kind of how far up I need to go. Um, I'll put, there we go, can have them stood together. Now, um, let's go back to this colour and keep going. Now, Relic's uh, skin is kind of like a big baggy hoodie top that he's wearing. So how high up does it go? I think a little bit. A little bit more, maybe. Um, let's see. Maybe that that would be okay like that. Let's see. Yeah, we'll use the next color and see. Is that a little bit dark? That looks a little bit dark. Hmm. It looked okay in my inventory, but. I think it's a little bit dark. Let's grab ourselves some cobble. Just need the one, and we'll need the color wheel as well. There it is. And we'll need some dye as well. Some pink dye. Actually, we'll need a few, so 
Let's get... Let's get a little bit of pink, purple, and magenta. And we will see what we can come up with. Now that I've, oh, I mean, we know that one's dark and that one. Hmm. That one? Is that one okay? Hmm. Choices, choices. That's definitely too dark. Yeah, it's definitely a magenta and a slightly lighter one, I think. Hmm. No, I'm, I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Let's see. And we'll chisel it into bits. And get that one out of the way. Definitely looks a lot better. A bit more like it. Um it's wrong region. Let's just cut this bit off. There we go. And now go back and do this again. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a much better colour. Cool. Alright, and we just keep on bringing it up. Yep. Keep on bringing this up to shoulder level. There we go now. That's fine. Is there a skeleton or something next to me? I can hear a noise. Must be something below ground or something. One more up, I think. Um, and we just need single bits close up over the shoulders. There we go. Excellent. That's all good. Yeah, that looks like about the right sort of length, I think, because it's just below the hands. Um, talking of hands, let's go and go do, 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 do. And you can see that Grok has been out in the fields working, being a farmer, and has got his hands all nice and dirty, and has got a bit of a tan, and uh, Relic is clearly a pasty colour from being a Brit. And we never see the sun. It's actually a lie. We see a load of sun in Scotland. We just keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. So, do the hands like this. Cool. Now, again, we go... We're just going up one because Relic skin. His sleeves are a bit longer. So we only see the two pixels of hands. Because, again, he's not out in the field working like Grok is with his sleeves rolled up. So we'll just start that again there, like that. And again, we can use connected plane. Or line? No, he's not carrying a pink lightsaber. Undo that. And let's go back a single bit there and connected pane. And we'll just build it up like we did with the body. Like that. And the same on the other side. Easy and peasy. See how quickly you can build something like this. I mean, Relic Skin is pretty, you know, forgiving for this because it's solid colours, whereas Grox was uh, pretty uh, detailed in some areas, particularly the gingham shirt and that sort of thing. But yeah, that's looking good. Now, we need to go and get the drawstring bits. So, how far are you? Like two in from the side, yeah. About that sort of level, so we'll just go up like that, and then over and two in from the side again, and we'll just go up like that there. So these are the drawstrings for the hoodie, and we use white here. That's all good. Def I'm definitely hearing a bow, a bow or something. Weird. No, it's not. It's that. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, it's driving me mental. Right. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Yep. So, the next thing... I'm shifting over things so I can see what I'm doing. Right. Next up, there's... 
bit at the neck where you can see what I presume to be a t-shirt underneath or something. The collar. Mm -hmm. And then there and there. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Oh, we're nearly there, folks. Just the head to go. So, uh, the head comes out to uh, both in front and behind. So, I uh, need to get that come in there. Okay, and the same at this side. Cool. Um, can we? I can't quite fit in here. Should I think I'm going to bring this down so we can work on it in a second? But we'll just do this bit first. So forward and out. Cool. And out one more. Yep. Nice one. And then we need the flesh tone again. And do that there. Make sure we fill in the bit underneath the chin as well, because that could be visible depending on what angle we're seeing this from. Yeah, there we go. From underneath, that's fine. All good. And then we're going to be on that. And there. And then we've got nice rosy red lips. Now, I'm not emphasizing this in any way. That This is just what Relic's skin is like. So I'm not saying he's wearing lipstick. But those are some glossy lips there, right? Just saying. Um, and we've got rose-tinted spectacles. Or Magenta-tinted. Um, I think the bridge of the shades. Yeah, I think it's actually a little bit greyer in the skin, but I think we'll get away with it like that. I think it looks okay. And then we are going with a tinge of the ginge. Uh huh. And then let's uh, build up the hoodie. Let's do it like that instead. Oh, that's handy. I didn't realize we can do both sides at once. Cool. And then we can come up one more. And perfect. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, cool. Yeah. Um. Right then, we've got them stood side by side, our two doppelgangers. So you can you can tell that I didn't have the flat color blocks when I did Grok's skin. Um, it's a little bit more variegated, but then his skin is a little bit more sort of randomized than uh, than Relic's one. Uh, it's, it does lend itself to this, I've got to say. I'm very pleased. So we got a bag of some of the bits there that we used and some of the designs that we used. If you shift when over them, then you can see exactly which blocks we used there. So you can see 136 dark azure blocks, number 591, and then light orange, dark orange, blah, blah, blah. Um, so all of the, all of the, the actual colors are given by that as well. Um, so that'll be handy. And like I say, we've got the bits bag there. We've got the designs to hand over to Relic and, um, I think he'll be pleased he'll be able to make uh, copies of himself wherever he goes. So we'll just uh, mine him up and uh, we'll put Grok back into our storage. And Oh, Grok, man, messing up my base, dude. Um, let's put that back there and we'll put Grok back into storage. Bye bye. Right, and uh, we'll head on over to Relics. Right then, we're over at Relic's base, and um, I'm really liking the look of what he's doing here. He's done some really nice stuff for this house. Um, it's looking very cool. Um, yeah, and these windows. Oh, hello, mistaken. Hello. Yeah, these windows. He did a whole episode about designing these windows, and they've come out really nice, like that. And of course, his big fountain, which is nice. I uh, got a couple of factories here. And, of course, more chisels and bits in, because, well, it is just that addictive. Uh, furnaces and, whoa, that's a lot of iron crops right there. Um, 
the Tanya setup's going nicely. He's obviously got a good bit of room to expand into. He clearly intends not running out of mana anytime soon. Um, and I recall, yeah, these are his setups over here with his pure daisies for automated living wood and living rock. So that's cool. And a chicken. Uh, there's a hole here because he had an automated setup for his petal apothecary, but um, in the the great Endryo conduit and uh, progressive automation farm debacle of 2016, it had to be edited out, unfortunately. What's over here? That looks like an ore processing facility, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. That's what it looks like. Nothing in there, though. All right, okay. I'm not going to be poking around too much here. I just want a quick fly around and see what's what. I'm toddling through here. I love these doors. Even the sound sounds good. And, yeah, Rose is going to be getting her own back on, on Relic and uh, Link. Don't fancy being in their shoes. Pretty sure that uh, hell hath no fury like a woman with a pink house put at her base. Where am I going to put this? Got a chest for putting bits and bobs in. Shall I put it there? Yeah. yeah. Just pop it in there, out the road. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's going to be bad. That's going to be bad. Well, work going into just a warning, really. Maybe I should put this out. Should I? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Anyway, folks, I think that's a good wrapping up point. If you liked the episode, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, check out Relic's uh, channel as well. And I shall see you the next time. Have a fun. Bye-bye.